Good morning and welcome to another episode of Pastor's Corner. We, we always look forward to, you know, seeing so many of you and I know you look forward to seeing us on Tuesday morning uh, around this time and we're glad that you are on. I'm seeing so many of you are on already. Remember to like and share the page. I am very happy that you are with us this morning and again, we are just... Uh, you know, carrying on from last uh, episode. Um, last episode, you remember, we had our newly elected conference president with us. And, and some of you said, well, boy, we, 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 we didn't get enough of him. Some of you said, well, bring him back again. You know, I heard these sentiments. We heard these sentiments. And, um, you know, he's with us again. We are looking at insights from the president. Insights from the president so we want you to like and share the page and to you know invite everyone and let them know pastor's corner is on i'm seeing Elin alexander she's saying good morning viewing from new york all the way in new york well Eli, Ale, sister alexander do me a favor do me a favor take a few seconds and send this link uh, far and wide yeah far and wide let everybody know that we are on Kellon Charles, good afternoon, pastors. Good afternoon. Thank you very much. Um, well, it got to be afternoon where you are. Oh, from England, right? Very nice, very nice. Rosalind Noel is there. Good morning. Just interacting with you. So, welcome, and we are very happy to have you again with us on Pastor's Corner. Before we go any further, let us bow our heads as we pray. Heavenly Father, we give you praise and we give you thanks for being our God. Thank you for the night rest. Thank you for waking us up. And thank you for allowing us to have the bread of life, to have our being. For we cannot do anything without you. So we thank you. We praise you. Now take charge of our words, our mouths, our thoughts, and everything that we do and say on Pastor's Corner this morning. We ask, O oh Heavenly Father, that you take charge. Be with my special guest today. Be with all our viewers, our online viewers and listeners and be with each one of us, and may this episode be enriching, be uplifting, and a blessing to each one of us. We thank you, and we give you praise in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen and amen. Well, of course, ladies and gentlemen, even boys and girls, my brothers and my sisters, it's a pleasure again to have with me on Pastor's Corner our well, I, I still, should I use newly elected? No, I, I leave out the newly. I think after a week and so on, you know, um, we, we go. But our, our conference president, our conference president and um, Pastor Enoch Isaac. Pastor Isaac, well, thank you very much for taking the time off from your busy schedule. As a president, every minute comes, yes? But I'm, I'm just coming in and having so many things to deal with. I know it has been a, a, a real barrage of meetings, one after the other. But you have taken the time to be with me and be with us on Pastor's Corner again this morning for the second week running. Um, you know, welcome and good morning. Open your mic and greet the online viewers. Good morning, Pastor Hile, and good morning or to all our listeners and viewers. We're happy that you have joined us again for another Pastor's Corner. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'm seeing um, all your comments. Um, mm -hmm. My cousin, Yulin, I'm, I'm noticing you oh, there. Oh, okay. Alexander, I think I saw Sister George. Mm -hmm. Sister George is the mother of Pastor George. Oh, from okay. Dominica. Yeah. Good morning, Sister Teresa That's George. That's Teresa George. That's all right. right. Good mm -hmm. morning. Mm -hmm. And everybody else, really, um, Cassandra. Everybody else. It's good to have you, and it's good to be here on Pastor's Corner. Yes, Pastor Hile. Yes, welcome, 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 Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> Let me use that one. So we're very happy to have our president, our conference president, with us. And um, remember to like and share the page. I'll keep reminding you of that, you know, because we want those who are home, those who are available. Uh, some people, based on the work they do, they have some time, you know. Nothing is interfering, and they can stay with us and, and, and be part of Pastor's Corner. I want to get right into it um, right this morning, Pastor Isaac. Um, it has been, and I've been checking, your first 13 days. I hope I cogged right. Whether 13, 14, if I miss one. But thereabout, when I checked from uh, session, from the day you were elected, up to this point, it has been 13 days in office as the conference president, the president of the Grenada Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Uh, let me just ask you, how has it been so far? Again, thank you, Pastor. Well, I don't know... Um 
if it is 13 days, you know, I, I guess if you <laughs> yes, I've, been, I've, come I've been, been checking. Yeah. Um, well, it, it has been, um, it has been meetings, actually, as, as you said, um, mm -hmm. the last of which was um, a phone call meeting phone I had, call. Um, about the last half hour with Dr. Tobias oh. from the union. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, union president. That's yeah. right. So <laughs> it, it has been that way. But yes. um, essentially, as you know, we have been having lots of meetings, internal yeah. meetings. Yes. I'm trying to, you know, of course, I've been here, but in di different capacity. Yeah, yes. So now the meetings were understanding directors, staff, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but one thing I would say is that um, the mission remains the same. The mission remains the same. I yeah. Love that. So <laughs> yeah, the mission remains the same. Yes. So um, yes, we had the, um, you know, the meeting with the former president. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you we, did. Uh, right. Yes, of course, mm -hmm. um, Dr. Lewis. Yes. As we look over things and the transition took mm -hmm. place, mm -hmm. but all in all, um, mm -hmm. yesterday, you know, we had our three meetings. One mm -hmm. of which we had a meeting with, with all our pastors. Yeah. And what were we talking about? Not just session or any such thing we mm -hmm. the, the 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 major document or the major item in the agenda yes was evangelism and yes. how we can do it better and conservation of yeah. the members that we we would have um um you know mm -hmm. um brought, brought to, to jesus yes. Yes. yes so uh -huh. um it it matters not yes there is a change in leadership mm -hmm. the presidency but the mission of the church remains the same right so um in all our meetings it's still we're not losing sight of what is the mission what we yeah. what we have been called to do yeah. jesus said that hmm. in john chapter 17 in his prayer he mm -hmm. he, he prayed to his father and asked um, his father that none mm -hmm. of those hmm. those believers yes none of them will be lost. lost. That was the prayer in Jesus' heart. So mm -hmm. um, if you ask me, what is it? Mm -hmm. It's not about meetings to find out about cameras and mm -hmm. monies and all this. It's about the, the work. The How work. better can we right. organize the effectiveness and the efficiency of the work? Yeah. Yeah? So whatever we do, it still comes down to what we can do better mm -hmm. to enhance the work. Yes. Maybe even enhance Pastor's Corner. Yes. Because <laughs> yesterday there was a meeting of course. Uh, of, um, with the committee of Pastor's Corner looking yes. at it. So yes. it, it all, all the meetings, mm -hmm. it's not just meetings. Mm -hmm. It's not just seeing, you know, it's, it's not like a business mm -hmm. and you're looking, well, how can we have more profits? Yeah. Well, the profits for the Greener Conference is souls for the kingdom. For the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, so, so yeah, lots of meetings, but yeah. all of these, yeah. you know, administration, yes, but yeah. Uh, how can we do better yeah. what we have been doing? Right. And that is the proclamation of the everlasting gospel. Amen. Amen. So there has been, yes, a lot of meetings, but uh, keep in focus. On, I love on, that. Yes. And, and yesterday I've been part of maybe two of the meetings and, and I agree right. with you. You um, they really, really, you know, focus on the mission. And, yeah. um, you know, so thank you very much, Pastor Isaac. So you are, you are up and go rolling. You are with your boots on. And um, by the grace of God, you know, um, God is, is beginning to use you in mighty ways. Because, of course, it's all about God, yes? Of and we course. Thank you. Well, we have a long way to cover in that one hour that we have. Some hard questions, <laughs> some easy ones in between. Because you're the president, so I've got to ask you some I'm hard mercy. questions. And some Ill, 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 easy ones in between. But I, I know you will do you will do well. Well, let's praise the Lord. As you say that, Pastor, yes. I I I um, visited someone home, one for a brethren, senior brethren, yeah. um, yeah. and and he said, Pastor, I listened to Pastor Scorner, it was good, but he said that that guy, that Pastor, asked you hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Why is asking you those hard questions? <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. But, um, that, but it's, it's not my intention. <laughs> but of course, um, they, 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 these are questions and, and, and people are asking, people want to know about, you know. Okay, okay. And of course, <laughs> the questions, I, I thought they were hard, but you managed it, you handled them well, Mr. Well, President. Praise so, the Lord. You know, so, all right, so I, I'll try not to ask the President too, too many hard questions, but in and between, you will find a hard one. Uh, so let me see how this one go, um, um, Pastor Isaac. Um, Let's talk. The, the church, and when I say the church, the church, um, Seventh-day Adventist Church, Christianity um, in Grenada is facing many challenges. What are two of the major challenges, or maybe one or two, anything comes to mind, um, that, that, that Christianity, the Christian community in Grenada faces? And how will you um, position the Seventh-day Adventist Church to, to, to help address these challenges for the betterment of its members and, of course, for the wider community? Yeah, um, yeah, the Christianity yeah. pastor is facing mm -hmm. it, it's it's 
it's a very difficult area for Christianity. Yeah. So I would say what we what is called relativism. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that is mm. the the doctrine that truth and morality mm. is not absolute. Mm. It it really hinges on culture. Oh. What what's happening at the time mm -hmm. now. That someone may ask, how is that affecting Christianity? Yeah, because it's when when that doctrine is accepted, Pastor, it means that the, you can't easily present the Bible to yeah. someone and say that the stand the Bible say that, right. because it's relative. Yeah. The Bible first they would say, well, the Bible is, doesn't deal with our culture today <laughs> and and that kind of stuff. So so truth, they say, is that there is nothing called absolute, absolute truth. Truth, yeah. truth is relative mm -hmm. based on the time. Mm -hmm. So for example, if you need to go to the embassy and to get a visa, you want to travel, and you're a good Christian. Mm -hmm. But if you figure, if you tell the truth, you wouldn't get it. You tell a lie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see, so mm -hmm. so it it means mm -hmm. that the the doctrine of truth and what is and morality and righteousness mm -hmm. is is based upon um, culture yeah. and what one thinks, mm -hmm. not necessarily upon any principle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. so so I'm. I'm I'm Sorry. I'm suggesting that is that is something that is really affecting Christianity. Mm -hmm. Relative what is called relativism. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um and, and we see it all the time. In young people, other persons, people just do things. Mm -hmm. Um and, and you can't when you bring the Bible, they would say that is based upon you. Uh -huh. You you can't you know what we would say is that hey, the word of God says that. Mm -hmm. And they would say the word of God is for that time, not for our time. And we you know, so that is something that is really affecting Christianity. Mm -hmm. Um, that leads to what is called, you know, a very pluralistic society. Yeah. People just, you know, um, mm. do what they want, when they want, how they want. And if it, if it suits them, mm. that's fine. Mm -hmm. It also affects the ethical values. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. um, we talk about what is called Christian ethics. Mm -hmm. What is proper, what is decent, what is right. Yeah. And because of the pluralistic, relativistic society, I would say, no. It's based upon what's happening in my life. You know, what's, what is right for me now? Hmm. Yes? So when I would say, lying is an abomination, they would say, well, yeah. that's <laughs> according to what's happening, then lying is abomination. Mm -hmm. But lying is, is not an abomination across the board. Mm -hmm. So Christianity is going through a very tough time. Mm -hmm. um, coupled with that is what a term that we experience in Europe, mm -hmm. and now you can say it's experiencing uh, throughout the world. The world has gone what is called post Christian. Post Christian. Post Christian. Yeah. Hmm. Post. Hmm. <laughs> past Christian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you you preaching out there hard mm -hmm. and what we know, mm -hmm. uh, what we you know, twenty years ago and we presented a doctrine and the, the, the folks are just watching you and listening to you and even on, on, on Facebook and, and what have you. Um, and because they have their own doctrine. I heard Mac Finley, one of our great scholars and presenters, present um, something on the LGBT um, Q movement. And many persons that um, members of a mm. church com commenting and say things like, Mark Finley, you're a great preacher. Mm. You've always done well, but this time you're wrong. <laughs> and what is Mark Finley presenting? Mark mm -hmm. Finley is presenting the Bible, the Bible principle as it relates to mm -hmm. um, human sexuality yes. and gender, but yeah. they're not willing to go along with it. So the, the conclusion is that, Mark Finley, you're wrong yeah. this time. Yeah. I mean, you're right at all times, mm -hmm. but at this time you're wrong. Why is he wrong for them? Mm -hmm. Because he's not going along the trade of yeah, things. Yeah. So that on a whole, mm -hmm. is, I mean, it's really affecting Christianity. Yeah. People not really like willing to accept the Bible. When you say mm -hmm. the Bible, pe mm -hmm. people not willing to accept the Bible. Mm -hmm. Well, they are want to accept the Bible on their time, their condition, mm -hmm. and their situation, not holistically mm -hmm. across the board. Mm -hmm. You see, and that, that's a challenge for the church. Yeah, Any that's church, a challenge. yes, because for us, we believe what the Word of God says. The yeah. Bible is a standard of morality. Mm -hmm. The Bible is a standard of righteousness. Mm -hmm. We believe that. So when be people begin to begin to pick and choose what they want based on their situation, that's a challenge. That's a challenge. So it's a real challenge. And how, how would you, the, the, in, briefly, because we want to move on now, briefly, how would you, the, the Seventh-day Adventist Church, how would you position its members um, to at least counteract that? And, of course, for the good, not only of the members, but for the wider society? Yeah, mm -hmm. well... I, I don't suppose that I have any magic mm -hmm. than to tell you mm -hmm. we have to present notwithstanding what they would accept and what they would not accept. Right. We'll have to present the word thus said the Lord without bending. Right. Yeah, because I mean there yes. is nothing we can do to 
compromise it. We cannot yeah. compromise the word. Mm -hmm. So I do not have a philosophical answer to say, well, we will do. We will present the word as it is found in Jesus. Yes, I, with, I without that. compromise. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So persons who are willing, or members, and we hope our members will understand that and accept it. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. There is no. There's nothing else we can do. Yeah. <laughs> if if Jesus was here, it would be the word. The word. And the nothing word. else but the word. Mm -hmm. So we, we can't afford to. We understand. I understand. This is the. This is where we are. Mm -hmm. You know, within the, the world, it's a post-Christian environment. It's it's a people believe in um it's a rel relativistic society. Mm -hmm. I understand that, but notwithstanding that, it's thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. Yeah, thus said the Lord. The, the Bible Lord. says thus. Yes. Lying is an abomination. Yes. The Bible says thou shalt not covet. Yeah. I can add to that. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Mm -hmm. There is no there is nothing else I can add to it. To yeah. if you know something, soften it. No. Up. There are Please, preachers, yeah. there are preachers and pastors who are doing that mm -hmm. to make people feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. But we can't do that. Can't do that. Thus said the Lord, and it's thus said the Lord. Yes. Thank you. Because we much. have to give an account to God, Pastor. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, good. Well, I hit you a, a big question there, but I mean, again, <laughs> you handle it, you know. Viewers, welcome. Those of you who have just joined us, I see we had many persons joining us since we started. You are all viewing Pastor's Corner, coming to you from the Grenada Conference of Seventh day Adventists, and we are uh, getting some insights from our president, our president, uh, Pastor Enoch Isaac. Now, Pastor Isaac, let me ask you this question. A study done many years ago by the uh, World Church, the Seventh day Adventist Church, um, uh, revealed that 75% of the church um, membership were made up of young people. And when we say young people, we are talking below the age of 35, 35 and under, right? Um, while no significant or scientific uh, studies have been done um, in the Grenada context, um, to determine the percentage of young people. But as I move around and as you as president, and of course you've been a, you, you are a pastor, not being, you are still a pastor. You have been a director. You have been youth director. And you will, you will observe that you know, lots of young people in our church, lots of young people. I just scan it through and I see lots of people. So the figures, um, the percentage of young people we have in the church could be very high in the Grenada Conference, in the Seventh-day Adventist Church, very high. Um, I, I say this, what, how do you plan to harness that, 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 that youthful uh, membership, um, the talents, the gifts, and to advance and to build the kingdom of God? What, what, what thoughts or insights can you share on that? Thanks, Pastor. You know, um, as, you, as you said, the, the world knows the value of youthfulness. Mm. I think we, we all understand that. Yes. As I, was, I think was Sabbath was mentioning that. In the army, the the the, the younger soldiers mm -hmm. are the soldiers that are given the daring, the most daring mission. Hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. those supersonic jets, as I as I mentioned, yeah. are flown by a nineteen year old and twenty year old wow. because they have no consideration huh. when they jump in the cockpit and they're going on a mission. That's it. That's it. The issue of wife and children and back home that mm. doesn't resonate yeah, with them. No. The soldier who is 35 and 40, he starts thinking about home and, and the wife and the children. The younger ones don't. Mm -hmm. So these are the folks that fly those jets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for real. They, these are the folks. So um, they, they know the value of youthfulness. Mm -hmm. um, the devil has the world spinning. Mm -hmm. Well, who, who the devil is going after? The youth, the devil knows that too. Mm. Um, all the promote, um, folks who promote pro, um, the pro, Promotional artists and what have you. Who's the, the the young people? The young people do some things sometimes. Yeah. I mean, they just don't care. Yeah, yeah. Right. Similarly, we know the value of what hmm. young people can do. Yes. In mm -hmm. fact, the Apostle John says, hmm. "Young men, you are called because mm -hmm. you are strong." strong. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are called because you are strong. Um, the Apostle Paul, writing to Timothy, mm -hmm. said, "Let no man despise thy youth." Mm -hmm. But be thou an example to the believers. Mm -hmm. So we know young people could stand up for Jesus. Yes. And therefore we, we, we will be further strengthening and, and, and our, our attempt to reach our young people. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And letting them know that the devil wants to destroy them, but God has value for them. Oh yes, oh yes. yes. That the devil wants to destroy them because the devil knows if young people really take this work past them. Mm -hmm. Where where older folks would be a little faint and, and you know mm -hmm. the young people you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. they, they're moving yes. yes they can do Bible work they can yes. preach they yes. can you know mm -hmm. um, the skills even in this era right 
We are here in Pastor's Corner, mm-hmm. and and that's that's an opening for young persons. Yes. Don't just surf. We want we will we'll have to reiterate and try to convince them. Mm-hmm. Don't just get on TikTok and mm-hmm. follow Instagram and mm-hmm. and just just mm-hmm. be gullible. Mm-hmm. You go on Facebook just to see what people are saying. Yeah, we we're saying that we have to convince them that you can put content mm-hmm. on Facebook. So you go there to put content to share information, mm-hmm. rather than going to find stuff that people post about people's business mm-hmm. and everything else. So we have to convince and we'll, we'll, we'll be trying to make that dent to convince our young persons. Yes. You have the ability, you have the talent and God has placed you there for like Esther for mm-hmm. such a, a time like this. Yes. And therefore, use your talents. Mm-hmm. Use your talents in your way mm-hmm. to present the gospel that persons will know about. Lots of people are on, on all social mm-hmm. media and, and some people are going through tough times, rough times. Yeah. And if you there to um, put up a passage of scripture, that might be just be something that person will hold on to. It's coming from an ex-young person. Because generally, we, sometimes we think that young persons, they are nothing good. Yeah. It's badness. Mm-hmm. No, that's not true. That's the not young true. people who are steady, of course, steadfast in Jesus. Of course. So we'll have to redouble our efforts mm-hmm. to try to um, in, in, and implore our young people to really get involved mm-hmm. in the mission of the church. Mm-hmm. TMI. Yes. Total membership involvement, involvement. Yeah. and that includes mm-hmm. young people. Yes, you know, um, we we have to get from their minds some of them that they have to grow, they have to get old, they have to experience do a lot of crazy stuff, mm-hmm. ungodly stuff, and then mm-hmm. come to Jesus mm-hmm. at some point. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. no, we have to get up because as young people, we were by God's grace, we were steady. Yes, you, you know, and and now we have more opportunities for young persons. So. Yeah, the church is young, and I believe the devil knows that, mm. and he's going after young people. But thank God, um, we'll pray that God place a hedge about our young people mm-hmm. so that they can accomplish the task which God has assigned them to accomplish. Thank you, thank you, Mr. President. That Thank you for the insight, uh, very insightful. We are talking about insights from the president, and um, you know, I thought of uh, placing that one there so that our young people, you, you, heard, uh, you heard your president, uh, you know, our president, and of course, there is a place in the work for every one of you, right? So come on board. Now, let's get, I, I, I don't know if um, this one shouldn't be too much of a hard one. I want to resist the temptation of asking you too many hard questions, Mr. <laughs> president. But the Grenada Conference as, um, of Seventh-day Adventist has three elected or principal, in my term, principal uh, officers or elected officers or administrators, if you please. I hope I get it right there. Yeah. Um, in the persons or the offices of the president, um, being yourself, Pastor Enoch Isaac, I want to repeat because we have new persons joining us, Pastor, since, you know, the, 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 the program or since even session. Um, Pastor Isaac being our president. Then we have the executive secretary, Pastor Oliver Scott, and then we have the treasurer, um, Brother Anselm Joseph. Yes, these are the three administrators, right? Now, I want you in a nutshell, Pastor, because we, we're going to dive into um, some other things relating to other departments in a while. But let me single out these three administrators in a nutshell, because I know the job description or what you have to do as president, it's a whole long one. But of course, I want you to summarize. Give us an idea, an insight, if you please, um, as to the roles and functions or the duties of these three administrators. The president, Pastor Enoch Isaac, the executive secretary, Pastor Oliver Scott, and the treasurer, Brother Anselm Joseph. See how well you can do for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, well, of course, the, the Grenada Conference has um, a constitution, right. you know, which spells out the, the role of the, the officers, right. as you say, administrators. Yes. So the president is, is what is called the, the, the first officer. The first, first officer. among equals. Right. So the, the other th- two um, is, is the secretary and the treasurer. So that's the term that is written in the constitution. First right. among equals. Right. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Maybe a little difficult to understand how we come first <laughs> and then you talk, about, <laughs> you talk about equal. It's something similar to that. Mm-hmm to um, the relationship between husband and wife. Right. We, are, we are equal in the sight of God. That's why you say we, the rib was taken from the side of the man, not from underneath his feet. Mm-hmm. But yet still we say the man is ahead. Yes. So you say we are equal, but in his head. So it's something similar. Mm-hmm. So the, the president, yes, is first among equals. Mm-hmm. Equal administrators, but the president is first. Yes. Um, so the president gives um, 
to begin with, role and function is the chairman of the constituency meeting. Whatever constitu constituency meeting is called, the, yeah. the president is the chair. The president is the chair of the executive committee. Whenever executive, executive committee. meeting is called, yeah. he's, that is responsible to call it, mm -hmm. place and time, and also to, to, to chair it. Mm -hmm. And to give general leadership and oversight, in a nutshell, right. to the work in the Grenada Conference. That's right. the role of the president. So mm -hmm. besides those two um, functionary um, roles there, mm -hmm. you know, chairing the the executive committee and the constituency. Mm -hmm. Well, the executive committee would meet once a month, generally speaking. General, yes. The constituency, at least maybe once a year, mm -hmm. but that's just once a month and mm -hmm. once a year. Yeah. So what else does the president... Well, yeah. general oversight of the general work. General oversight. Yes, general oh. oversight of the, the work within the Grenada Conference, mm -hmm. which, of course, includes um, the 12 districts yeah. um, here in the mainland and the Grenadines. Mm -hmm. That's the role of the president, to give guidance mm -hmm. throughout, throughout the... The conference. Yeah. The, the, the secretary, as persons would understand, secretary. Secretary. Yes. Yeah. Is, of course, is the vice, vice chair yeah. of the executive committee. Mm -hmm. um, he functions on, um, underneath the, the, uh, under the auspices of the executive mm -hmm. committee. Committee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, he reports to the executive committee mm -hmm. after consulting with the president. So oh, yeah. any information relative to the secretariat, mm -hmm. you know, um, he is the, the keeper of minutes. minutes. And that, that, that's very important. Yeah. Keeper of minutes. Anytime you have a meeting, mm -hmm. it's not just a meeting. You have to have a student person to take minutes. Yeah. And that's the role of the secretary because for all kinds of, um, you know, implications, mm -hmm. legal implications or, or, or persons challenging mm -hmm. a decision that was made, that was made, sorry, mm -hmm. you know, that's the role of the secretary to, to go back. What, what was... Um, what, what was decided? What, what, what was decided? decided. Yes. And then to furnish copies of that mm -hmm. to the executive committee mm -hmm. um, at the you know sub, uh, you know pre, um, subsequent meeting, mm -hmm. and also to the higher organization. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, in a, in a nutshell, mm -hmm. that's the role of the secretary: right. give it minutes, reporting to the mm -hmm. the executive um, committee, committee mm -hmm. after consulting with the president, president to any matters relating to mm -hmm. um, the function of the secretary mm -hmm. as a secretariat. You know, yeah. deals with you know. That's, that's the department that deals with data. Right. You know, deals with membership, deals mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. you know, anything to do with any aspect of legal mm -hmm. thing, that's the role of the secretary there to advise. So that's what, what, in a what, nutshell. Um, I just want to add workers, um, 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 workers' records. and All and records kind. of all yeah. the employees. employees any, any, yeah. all, all of that, mm -hmm. that relates to the secretariat. Right. So that's the role of the function mm -hmm. of the secretary on a day-to-day -day basis, right. keeping, making sure records are... Because records are very important for any establishment, any yeah. organization. Extremely. If you are misled or if you don't have the right mm -hmm. figures or numbers, mm -hmm. you can make mm -hmm. compromising decisions. Yeah. So, so that, that's an important role. Very important. And then the treasurer, treasurer yes. is mm -hmm. the finan chief financial officer, mm -hmm. advisor to the, co um, the executive committee and the president mm -hmm. on matters of... Of financial matters, mm -hmm. all financial matters. Um, the, that the work of the treasurer. So is the, the treasurer is the is the um, custodian mm. of the fund. It doesn't mean that he holds it in his hand or he holds no, it at his no. home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the term that is used. Um, yes. Custodian, yeah. and um, the disbursement. Let me use a term: disbursement mm -hmm. officer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. So the committee takes a decision to spend three thousand dollars to. Uh, Buy a, buy what? Buy a, some chairs. Yeah. Well, the committee took the decision. Then the role of the treasurer is to facilitate that decision of the right. the committee. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so the committee, the treasurer doesn't work on his own. On his own. Doing his own stuff. Mm -hmm. He is guided by what mm -hmm. committee decision, decision. Or, um, in a, in a, or any administrative decision mm -hmm. that is subject to the committee approval or any such thing. You know. So um, yeah, the chief financial officer, chief financial advisor to the committee, mm -hmm. um you know, custodian and disbursement of all financial mat um, f finances relative to the conference. Right. So in a nutshell, in a that's nutshell. what the administration of the conference looks yeah. like. Yeah. It, it, it sounds, uh, uh, thank you, you put it in a nutshell, but uh, when you break it down to this, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of, lot yes, of work well in you, there. You, you're managing, mm -hmm. you're managing, um, yeah. you, you have to get it right. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, the treasurer, mm -hmm. money is not properly spent or bad spent. You have auditors coming, so... Yeah. The yeah. treasurer has to get it right. And yeah. when you know with money, then the yeah. secretary, as I'm, I'm saying, mm -hmm. giving, if you give false d data, yeah. that, that makes a whole difference. We just had a conference session and 
um, members, churches sending delegates were based upon mm -hmm. the church's membership. membership. If you have, yeah. if you do not have correct membership, you can't know how many delegates mm -hmm. that you should have to a session or a constituency meeting. Um, workers retiring, workers yeah. not retiring, workers entitled, depending mm -hmm. on how long you've been serving. So it's, it's, it's constant work. And then the president has said oversight to the work. Oversight, yeah. you oversight what's happening? Yeah. Where are we going? You yeah. know, so yeah. Right. Great. Yeah. Well, may God rest, continue to rest mightily upon the administrators. Now, now Pastor Isaac, let, let, we, let, let us move a little more. Thank you for that insight there uh, regarding the administrators. Now, in addition to the administrators, there are directors. Yes, um, departmental directors that were also um, elected at the, at, the, at the session. Yes. Um, give us in a nutshell, and I know the roles, uh, you know, are many. The, in a nutshell, the roles and function of each of these directors or the different departments, wherever you want to put them. Now, um, we have a few here, so maybe I can, I can, I can list them and we, we you know, sometime we'll take a break and then come back you know and so on so we see how far we can go to complete them you know okay. um today so let's start with the ministerial the ministerial give us give us yeah. a, an idea uh, as to the, what the ministerial is. department or the ministerial secretary essentially pastor is just, is it what is called the pastor's pastor oh you know um and um so that person that department is responsible for Equipping the pastors, mm. um, you know, mm -hmm. as, as long as we live, we learn. Right, yes. You know, so yes, the pastors always went learning. to school, they did degrees, but there's, there's always equipping. Always learning. Yes, yeah. always, always learning. So always. The, the, that department is the department for equipping the pastors yeah. um, to ensure that all of the issues that are there, new manual is coming out, new issues that are coming out, so the pastors has to be up to date. That mm. Whose department? Yeah, the ministerial department is the department that, Equip the pastors to let them know, hey, this, this is best practice in mm -hmm. this area, you know, and that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. that, that's the role of the ministerial secretary mm -hmm. there. In, obviously, the elders of our churches mm -hmm. are the assistant to the pastors. Right. And therefore, by extension, the ministerial department seek to equip and train our elders right. as, well, mm -hmm. as well. In all aspects of, the, I mean, it could be preaching, it could be um, areas of administration. Mm -hmm. so, the, so the ministerial department deals with the pastors or mm -hmm. elders and and the extension um the deacon and deaconesses helping train deacons so that's why when a church has an ordination service or the, the ministerial department is the department that is conducted right. that is contacted sorry mm -hmm. so that whatever relevant training or what have you has to be done mm -hmm. it is by that department so the ministerial department takes care of equipping the pastors mm -hmm. um with further training mm -hmm. um the elders mm -hmm. And with further training and also our, our deacon yes. and deaconesses, deaconesses. Um, for the proper functioning right. of, um, of the role right. within the re um, respective churches. Right. Excellent. Very important department. Very important. I started with the ministerial. <laughs> Let's go. What about um, the, the personal ministries? Personal ministries. Well, of course, in, in here, I think we have one director. Well, we have one director for that. Personal ministries. Sabbath school community services. You yeah, can, that, that that's the director who. Yeah, well, that know. that well, that's uh, almost three ministries there. But yeah. personal ministries deal again with the training, mm -hmm. personal ministries, the training of the laity, right? Because this work we um, currently we have twenty pastors in the Greener Conference, you know. But we the, the the work is not on our shoulders to say, well, yes, only 20 persons can do the work. No, we have the laity yes. there, lay preachers, persons who God has given talents, and they can use their talents mm -hmm. for the glory of God. So the personal ministry department is responsible for training the laity, training lay preachers, mm -hmm. so training Bible workers, Bible workers right. um, and, and, uh, and persons in other ministry, equipping persons mm -hmm. to know, as we talk about total membership involvement. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't mean that the past, the, a local pastor can do that, but I'm yes. just saying the ministry, the personal mm -hmm. ministry department is to cooperate with the the pastor mm -hmm. of the various churches to ensure that members have been trained because yeah. some persons want to do certain things but you're not you're not trained right. you're not equipped right. so you don't know how to do it so that's the department that that does that mm -hmm. and and similarly in the sabbath school you know the yeah. importance of the sabbath school department mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know um the what we call the the action units yes. this the, what we call classes, classes. Mm -hmm. and and very important mm -hmm. you know um if if it i always i believe that if that department functions the way it should function within the churches, mm -hmm. I will have less persons leaving the church mm -hmm. because these are small classes with, well, we advise, you know, mm -hmm. um, 
you have eight, nine persons mm -hmm. in your class. And if, you, if it functions the way it should function, mm -hmm. like some, a teacher would come and, and say, good morning, class. The lesson for the week is, no, no, it's not mm -hmm. supposed to be done like that, yeah. Pastor. Yeah. You, you purge your class. You ask, you, you have nine members in your class. You only see five. Mm -hmm. You ask, where is James Thomas? Mm -hmm. Anybody notice that James was missing for the week? Someone yeah. say, yeah, um, he was sick. Okay, um, Sister John, could you visit him? Mm -hmm. and yeah, so mm -hmm. that kind of interaction, everyone is valued. Mm -hmm. So yes. it is set up that way. But sometimes teachers, and sometimes you can't blame them. They don't know. They just yeah. come to the front of the class and just start talking. Yeah. So the, the, the Sabbath school department is to train mm -hmm. teachers, mm -hmm. train persons mm -hmm. to, to be able to, you know, yes. yeah, to mm -hmm. function effectively. And, of course, the community services mm -hmm. also fall under that director. Mm -hmm. Well, the word... Tells mm. us what it is. Right. Community right. services. Mm -hmm. That's a department that seeks the need. Jesus Christ did that. And there's a little song we sing. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. Doing the good. church, we preach. We set mm -hmm. up tents. Mm -hmm. But that's not the only work of, of the church. Mm -hmm. There's something what we call the social gospel. Right. We should be out there seeking needs. Mm. Yes. Um, it doesn't matter if it's rice, if it's beans, if it's blogger, if it's fig, if it's flour, if it's cornmeal, if it's clothes. Yeah. The church must be out there. Mm -hmm. And, and um, so that department is to ensure mm -hmm. that, that, yes, we have this arm is mm -hmm. to deal with needs, needs out there. The right. And that's a critical part. Very nice. Um, is, we shouldn't minimize it to say, mm -hmm. yes, these people and them always want. No, no. Mm -hmm. that, if Jesus said the poor will always have always be, yeah. You see? Yeah. So we should ensure mm -hmm. we, that department is functioning and we are doing whatever we can mm -hmm. to help um, alleviate suffering out there. Um, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so essentially, that, that's what that department Right. looks after excellent excellent yeah. more insights from the president in case you've just joined us you know and i see your viewership is still going up we thank you for joining us you are viewing an episode of pastor's corner and of course we are getting some helpful insights some useful insights from our president pastor enoch isaac and i've i've leveled a few questions at him earlier on but now we have gotten to the point where we are take, getting some insights about the departmental departmental directors the different departments we thank you for joining us remember to like and share the page and invite someone to join us and of course i see sister jean clement say hmm nice to hear you speaking about the elders and other officers from the local church you know right very nice thank you sister clement so, <laughs> the george is yeah, there pastor mm -hmm. uh, yes he says sometimes they go and notice well if they oh. do you know um we we are I, I i would apologize for that because uh -huh. we know yeah. i know and i think all our pastors know the work cannot be completed as i repeat 20 yeah. pastors the work cannot be completed by 20 yeah. pastors correct so um if um we were you know elders get felt slighted at any time or, or officers of the church mm -hmm. um no it's not meant to be because we we know mm -hmm. we know not in the back of our heads we know in the front of our heads mm -hmm. the importance of um i i supervise a district i know the importance of my elders yes i can only be one place at, yes. at a certain time mm -hmm. so who runs those four churches those other two churches where i'm not there the mm -hmm. elders so the elders are critical mm -hmm. um you know um as a pastor's assistant and um so if at any time the elders were slighted anyway mm -hmm. we, of course we, we we're sorry for that but but we we know the value of our elders and, and leaders within our churches right thank you thank you very much i see i'm yeah. um, sister veronica latchman my good friend special hello to pastor Hile. thank you very much for the special hello and i see alicia saying president uh, greetings president isaac and pastor Hile. thank you very much for the greetings pastor let's take one more and then we're going to take a break now, I, we talked about youth earlier on. I posed a question to you. But we have a youth um, PCM, that's Public Campus Ministries and Chaplaincy, yeah? Um, a youth department is there. Give us a little insight as to what this department or the director there is responsible for. Well, as you said, the youth, naturally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the youth. And what about the youth? The salvation of the youth. The salvation that, yeah, of the youth. It's not just your youth. Yeah. And well, actually, there are two... Um, components there, yeah. we, we know say it that way salvation yeah. and service. And service, yeah, yes. So, we want to ensure that our young people are saved, mm. Mm -hmm. and we want to ensure that our young people are involved in the salvation of other young persons, yeah. 
yeah. salvation and service. So that's, yeah. that's essentially what the youth part I mean, uh, um, is all about. So mm. even when you camp, it's yeah. not just a camp. It's, not a, it's a means to an end. Yeah. It's not just you go mm. to camp. Mm -hmm. The salvation of our youth out mm. there. Yeah, that, that's the role. So if camping will help bring us together, nurturing, yes. then we do camping. Yeah. Camping is not just done for camping. For, for camping. No, yeah. no. Yeah, mm. you know. Discipline, um, sorry, um, match, drilling and matching is not just no, done just for, for yeah. no, it's for instilling discipline. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, yes, the youth department is really about the salvation and service of our young persons. Mm -hmm. PCM Public Campus Ministry, reaching or, um, or the campuses, for example, here in Grenada, we have the University of the um, St. George University, George University and also yes. TAM CC. These are yeah. the two main um, well, new local. Camp, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. you know, uh, um, persons are going there. So we try to reach persons there because yeah. sometimes young people are lost at this institution mm. of learning. Mm. You go to a higher institution of learning and then you get some godless professors, mm. you know, and they start mm. presenting some strange stuff. It's not like primary school or secondary school. Mm. They're not guarded. They just let you have it. Mm. And the young minds are just blown away. Mm -hmm. So it's good to, you know, reach out to those persons there. Public campus ministry and chaplains, you know, this with other areas at other schools, mm -hmm. um, other institutions, hospital, even the prison, you know, mm -hmm. um, chaplaincy, chaplaincy, providing yeah. that mm -hmm. kind of service support, yeah. and support system. Mm -hmm. So that is normally run by the U department. So, right. in a nutshell, that's what the right. U department talks about Excellent. and deals with. Excellent. Yeah. I, I like that. I like the part um, service, um, salvation, and service for the youth. Yes. Everything else, it, it comes down to these two components. Pastor Isaac, thank you very much for the insight so far. But stay, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. We are going to take a break. We're going to have a special item of music. And when we come back, we're going to continue to get some more insights from our conference president. Let's listen to a special item of music. Number one would surely be me. I thought I can be what I wanted to be. I thought of myself as a mighty. Walk 
Thank you very much, sister. That was Sister Cindy Hosford with that item of special music, you know, giving honor and glory to God. Uh, thank you very much, Sister Hosford, for using your gift to lift up and to bless the name of God. Well, thank you very much. We continue with our episode of Pastor's Corner. Uh, insights from the president. Insights from the president. Thank you for all of your comments, all of your contributions, and uh, all that you continue to, to give. Now, we have a question in the chat. Um, if the technicians can just scroll down a little. Uh, a question came in um, regarding some persons in the diaspora who may need to contribute, um, you know, a food stuff or you want to ship barrel. Yeah, there, there it is. Um, you have access and you would want to ship um, but sometimes the cost of shipping is not affordable to the contributor to ship the barrels. How can the conference help in such a case, right? You post the question. We don't want it to go unnoticed. Our co conference president is here. He's going to just give a brief response. Mr. President. Thank you, Pastor. Of course, and we really appreciate um, the questions and persons willing to help. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you, you contact. We are happy for those um, contributions mm -hmm. because we are always giving stuff. Yes, always. People are always coming by for stuff, yes. um, you know. So yeah, you contact the conference and and you know and we can and it's good if persons can collaborate. Yes, mm -hmm. collaborate so that um, you know you may have just two barrels. Someone may have an extra, three, and mm -hmm. then so mm -hmm. so when that is done, we you 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 let us know. Yeah. It is shipped. We can, of course, we can pay for shipment here. Mm -hmm. And then, number two, we can write. We have 10 barriers coming. Yeah. We can write to the government mm -hmm. and get concession right. on those barriers because we're not, it's not stuff for us. Right. We're getting stuff as a charitable organization to distribute. To distribute. Yeah. yeah. So, so um, I think the, the, the real issue there is contacting the conference mm -hmm. so that we, we, um, we may know about two others and, and we didn't know about yours. So, mm -hmm. then we put everything together. Yes. But, yes, that can be done. Right. Because you are, we, are, we, are, we understand you, you want to contribute. You already mm -hmm. buy the, purchase this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we wouldn't want to put additional pressure on you. Right. So um, the conference can assist in that way. Yeah. But, of course, you communicate with, with, yeah. with the conference. Right. You know? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. So we look forward to your continued contributions, yes, by the grace of God. And as the president said, contact us. We'll pass, um, um, Pastor Isaac, we continue with insights from the president, and we look. We were looking at, um, you know, some of the roles and functions of the different directors, and what is happening or what should be happening in the different departments. And we we looked at um, youth public campus chaplaincy. We looked at personal ministry, Sabbath school, community services. We looked at ministerial. What about women, women and children? Tell us. Or maybe I could comment, um, Pastor. Women, children, men, ministry. You know, right. all mm -hmm. of this. Yes, of course. The emphasis. Some people have a little dissonance with that. Mm -hmm. um, so we have family life, yeah. but we still have women. Well. The church realized there are some specific needs mm -hmm. relative to women mm -hmm. so to look at certain needs of women. Women, right. women can meet together and look at certain things specific to, to, to women. So mm -hmm. the, the women ministries department is really to look at specific needs mm -hmm. of women mm -hmm. and women within and without. Yes. I'm saying community women, of women course. because women is women. Of course. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, to when, when they meet together with everybody else, they may not want to mm -hmm. talk certain you know mm -hmm. certain things so when they meet among themselves they can form this support system yes. for each other yes. yeah um iron sharpened iron of so course. people have various and, and experiences mm -hmm. they can share mm -hmm. um so that the women ministries um takes care of that and and similarly the children, mm -hmm. you know, we have youth ministry. The youth ministry. Youth ministry deals with the pattern, the uniform, more mm -hmm. the uniform. You know, the children ministries um, focus upon the, the, the child yeah. or the, 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 the growth of the child mm -hmm. outside of the uniform mode. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. So because the pattern mm -hmm. is the pattern or the youth ministry is specific mm -hmm. to the uniform mm -hmm. club. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
the children ministries doesn't deal with uniform club. They yeah. deal with the growth and the development of the child oh, holistically mm -hmm. outside of the, the, the uniform body. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and the Sabbath school aspect of it mm -hmm. that deals with, you know, the, the, um, the children, the youth department deals with the young people, young people. Mm -hmm. in the afternoon. Yeah. Of, uh, you know, the, the children ministries deal with the young people uh, relative to on the Sabbath, on the Sabbath uh, morning. morning. But outside of Sabbath, I'm saying they just deal with the development of the holistic development of a, of a, of a child. Yes. Yeah. And um, similarly, while we have the, the women mm -hmm. having specific needs, yes. so the men, the men yeah. have specific needs. Mm -hmm. And as men, we don't want to talk, we don't mm -hmm. want to say anything, um, you know, and, and I, I think we're still lacking there mm -hmm. because very often mm -hmm. a man will figure, ah, there's no ministry mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. I, I okay, yeah. I cool. Yeah. But men are affected negatively and they don't talk. Yeah, we have a lot of challenges. Yes, the woman will go and talk to a fellow, yeah. you know, lady and, and they converse and they get strength. Mm -hmm. They pray together. A man operate, man operate mm -hmm. mature, they have it together. They yeah. don't have it together. Mm -hmm. You know, they do strange stuff and sometimes they can't deal with the pressures of life. So the men ministry is to help men to deal with the issues that mm -hmm. face men all the time mm -hmm. and how to deal with it successfully mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. not just talk macho stuff mm -hmm. um the certain foods they say man must eat that food mm -hmm. no 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 you, you really deal with the psychosocial aspect yeah. of of um because sometimes we present ourselves as being strong strong but, but we're not strong yeah so the main mm -hmm. ministry to help men to really be strong <laughs> strong mentally mm -hmm. and emotionally yeah mm -hmm. so these are some of the things that it, it covers there. yeah yeah I see Sister Alexander say, I surely will, Pastor. I guess she would call us or contact us in okay. response to the... Right. Well, as, as you're on those, Pastor, what about family life? You know, time of course, family of life course, there. Of course, um, family life deals with mm -hmm. now everybody coming together. Mm -hmm. And it was once, that's why I say some folks have a little dissonance with it because yeah. they say we have family life, yeah. but then we have men and then we have women. Mm -hmm. But that's what it is. But the family life now pulls everybody together. Everybody. So we have women here. Mm -hmm. We have men over here. We have yeah. children here. Yeah. Family life pulls everybody, everybody together and deals with everybody holistically right. while women deals with women yeah. men deals with men mm -hmm. children deals with children family life deals with everybody mm -hmm. <laughs> right. yeah so it's to deal with and we have lots of issues yeah and right course. now more than ever pastor we mm. need family life yes 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 yeah because the world is telling us the family yeah. family i mean it's family is out of the door. Yeah. yes it's out of the door mm -hmm. so um the 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 this this the agenda mm -hmm. of of the hmm. you know um the homosexual agenda mm -hmm. the lesbian agenda is a, an agenda to destroy the family mm -hmm. if whole family network mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now and more than ever we need to reestablish mm -hmm. what the family is about it's because about we, of course the bible has its, of course it's in print that's where, we, that's where we get it from mm -hmm. um so all this um Agenda that has been pushed hmm. under the rainbow colors. Hmm. We have to dismantle that mm -hmm. and this, this, disregard that because mm -hmm. we have to push what the Bible is pushing relative to, to family and gender and sexuality mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying if there was, if there, if there was a time that hmm. the, the family ministry should really be out front, it's this time. It's, it's this because time. Uh, out there is as though, I mean, they, they want to capsize mm -hmm. what the Bible considers to be mm -hmm. a family. Yeah. And we have to stand up against that. We have yeah. to be the vanguard yeah. against what the agenda uh -huh. Of um, you know that the, the, the LBGTQ mm. Z movement, whatever. All the letters, yes. <laughs> mercy, have yeah. mercy. We have God. to be against that. I tell yeah. you, I tell you. Well, well, Pastor, going well, going well. Thank you. Now let's go to the education. We have education. I, I realize this this church, or the Adventist Church, is is well organized, and it's of course you have ministries or departments to take care of. You know, almost everything. You know. Like yes, of course, of course, of course. Um, education. Education is, is critical. Yeah. Um, after, I would say after. That's what I think the record said after the Catholics mm -hmm. worldwide. Mm -hmm. The Adventist Church as an organization yes. is, the most, is the second relative to education. Yeah, education education is, is about, I mean, education is key. Yeah. To educate yeah. your people, yeah. to educate a nation, to educate your children is mm -hmm. key. So if you want to be going somewhere, mm -hmm. you, you, you are to ensure that mm -hmm. you've been, you are educated. Yeah. So the church can't be what it Hmm. could be or should, should be, be without right. education yeah, correct <laughs> so education is key so yeah. yes um and 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 um not just education what mm -hmm. christ-centered so right. the the education department is to push the agenda of christ-centered education mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not just educating not mm -hmm. just knowledge mm -hmm. you just read books you get information mm -hmm. no to educate because if you're if if one is educated hmm. using the term mm -hmm. 
And that person grew up and, and, and they say, watch, there is no God. Hmm. So, no, something is wrong. Some, You're something not educated. Is wrong. You, have been in, you have been indoctrinated. Something you have gotten wrong. some information. <laughs> Yes, but you're not educated because mm -hmm. you education will tell you mm -hmm. uh, there is a God mm -hmm. who rules in the affairs of men. Yes, man. Yes. Yeah. So the, yes, so the education department is important. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, our schools here, you know, partly operated by the government. Mm -hmm. or, our teachers are paid by the government, but we have the leeway to. Of to course. In, yes, our teachers cannot teach ungodly mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. in our schools. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. no, you're right. Mm -hmm. We we have to our teachers when they have devotional what in our schools, mm -hmm. they will teach that there is one God, yeah. Jehovah. Mm -hmm. They cannot teach that, that that we belong to a God, Vishnu and Shiva and, mm -hmm. and, and, and Ganesh mm -hmm. and all these gods. No, we can't <laughs> teach that. No. So I'm saying the education department is important. Yes. Even, even as we share and tr try to guide our, yeah. our, our schools yeah. through our school boards mm -hmm. and through our principals and teachers, yes. um, instilling the Christian values in our children, not mm -hmm. just Acad academics. Not, it's mm -hmm. not about academics. You get nine O levels and uh, twelve O levels. It's not just that. Mm -hmm. Christ-centered education. Yes. So you you you're bright, mm -hmm. but you're not a bright liar. Mm -hmm. You're not a bright thief. Mm -hmm. You you're intelligent mm -hmm. and you're a very decent, moral, ethical person. That's right. what the, the education system seeks mm -hmm. to be. By the grace of God. Yeah. Well done, well done, Pastor. Good insights, insights from the president with Pastor Enoch Isaac or conference president, uh, Grenada conference president, and we're glad for these insights. Pastor, we're coming down, we're watching the time, but we still have just a few more. We're going to wrap them up in a while, but let's take health. Um, health is another area that is, that is you know, um, very critical. What, what, what about the health director, health department? Yes, Pastor, well, health is wealth, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you and I, you and I are sitting here, if mm -hmm. we didn't have health, in, we mm -hmm. couldn't be yeah, here. Yeah. So health is critical for anybody. I mean, you could be young, and very young, mm -hmm. but if health is not on your side, that's you know where. You can have all the monies in the world. You can have all the knowledge in your head. If mm -hmm. health is not on your side, mm -hmm. you know where. So it's critical, like education, mm -hmm. critical to have a, um, the ch Seventh Avenue Church has a health department mm -hmm. to push or to promulgate the health message. Yeah. Yes. And what is that? Do we do we have? Ho yes, we have hospitals and 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 clinics and what have you. But that is not what the health message necessarily is about. It's part of the health message. Mm -hmm. But um, preventative health, if I should use that term, mm -hmm. preventative health, mm -hmm. eating right and living right. We talk about the eight doctors. Yeah, you yes, know? yes. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. so, so it's not just um, eating anything mm -hmm. and then running my doctor. Mm -hmm. You know, when, 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 no, it's preventing yeah. and certain diets that mm -hmm. we advise. Mm -hmm. You're not just doing anything mm -hmm. and then, even for the community, folks mm. drinking alcohol, alcohol mm. and then they go by the doctor and doc they say, the doctor stopped me. Hmm. Well, the, doctor, the doctor is not supposed to stop no, you. You, no. should know, you should stop yourself. Mm -hmm. But some folks, only when the doctor say things bad in your kidney mm. or things not bad, then, they stop, yeah. you know, mm. we eating cake, we eating cake like crazy, we just mm. eat it. No, but it's sugar, too much mm. sugar content. Mm -hmm. So it's not, I'm not saying don't eat cake, I'm just making the point yeah, that yes, yes, exactly. healthy living or the health message will tell you, you have to regulate that yeah. because... Mm -hmm. It's going to affect the machine, yeah. this machine. So, yes, the health department is a critical department mm -hmm. to preach or to share the health message, mm -hmm. best practice, mm -hmm. that we call it, right. best practice. Yeah. Um, I was interject, the health message is not about necessarily or mm -hmm. only really to you eat meat or you're not eating meat or mm -hmm. you're eating pork. No, no, the health message is all it's a, it's encompassing. Yeah. Like all it's a complete stuff, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Yes. Well balanced. It's well balanced. It's a, it's, Package. You know, yes, of course, we just insight, but yeah. of course... You know, you get Pastor Guillaume, the health yeah. ministry director, to come here to yeah. share. But yeah. I'm just saying, overall, yeah. it's a message that the world needs, not yeah. seven minutes. The world needs it. Mm -hmm. Because if you eat anything, mm -hmm. if you ignore health laws, it's going to affect you, us. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to affect us. Yeah. So we, we mm -hmm. what is it, a, a, a proverb, a, a, um, a stitch in nine, save nine? Yeah. A, stitch a stitch in time, time. sorry, save, save nine. nine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, take, you, 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 you take advanced measures mm -hmm. so that... Um, you don't have to go on, on dialysis. You don't have to take mm -hmm. um, um, diabetes medication for the rest of your life, that kind of thing, because you, you're eating healthy. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But very nice. Yes. Very nice. Thank you very much. Pastor, let's, let, let's see if we could wrap up. Stewardship. Stewardship and trust services. See? Yeah, yeah. Pastor, that's, that's also an important department because mm -hmm. we are servants of God. We are placed here. We like to behave sometimes as though we own things. Mm -hmm. A steward is a servant. You not you know you don't own it. You have been placed in charge. Mm -hmm. Someone traveled to the U.S. and they left 
the house and say, Pastor, he left you, look, mm. that you are steward yeah, sure. for the person. It's not so you have, It's not yours. No. You have the keys. You can go and open. Somebody yeah. might pass and say, hey, that Pastor, he left house. No, no, <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's not yours. Yeah. You are there every day and they think. You're yeah. cutting the grass for the person and you, they think. No, yeah. you are steward. Yeah. A steward, sorry. We are stewards. Mm-hmm. This world is not yeah. belong. It doesn't belong to us. That's God's world. Mm-hmm. God give us certain things. We like to behave sometimes. That's mine. That's my car. Yeah. No, we are taking care of care it. Of it yeah. And therefore, our time, mm-hmm. we have 24 hours. Mm-hmm. We have to give account to God. Some of us waste, some people just waste time. Mm-hmm. They're idling, talking nonsense. Mm-hmm. We have to give an account for our time. Mm-hmm. That's, that's been a good steward. So we have to ensure that the time we spend mm-hmm. in life is worthwhile, profitable, because one day we have to give an account, account. to God for the time we get. Mm-hmm. Yes? Some folks go on Facebook and they're just cussing people, seeing all kinds of yeah. stuff boy, on the boy. phone. They're, no, no, we have to ah. give it a comfort time. Hmm. So that's been a good steward. Mm-hmm. Or talents. Mm-hmm. We have certain abilities to spread the gospel. We, we just there. Some people just they're criticizing the church. Everything the church does, mm-hmm. everything the leaders they criticize him, but they have a talent. They mm-hmm. have to give a con for that. You're yeah. steward. Yeah. What are you doing with your talent? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? And that's important. And then of course the treasure. Mm-hmm. So it's time. Mm-hmm. It's talent. Mm-hmm. And then the treasures, yeah. whatever treasures, much or little. Yeah. You say it's your money, work hard for it. Hey, but God gives you have to give an account to God. Mm-hmm. One day you have to give an account to God for what He has given to you. Mm-hmm. So the stewardship department is the department that you know shares info and try to help us to understand our our um, stewardship responsibility. So yeah. again, folks here about stewardship, the only thing of money is mm-hmm. time, is talent, mm-hmm. and Treasure, mm-hmm. in a nutshell. Yeah. Very nice. Very <laughs> yes, nice. Of course, Thanks of for course. those insights. Yeah. Um, we have last three. Last three quickly. Um, well, you're dealt with men. Communication. Communication. Well, Pastor, that's it. You know. That's it. <laughs> yeah. The communication department is a department mm-hmm. from which all of all of these departments, mm-hmm. even what I have not mentioned yet, yeah. comes through the communication department, as right. the word says. Yeah. Communication. Communication. To disseminate yeah. information. Information. Anything that the church wants to get out there to the papers, to the media, mm-hmm. the communication department. Mm-hmm. Um, women ministry wants to get something out, it comes through the communication department. So the, mm-hmm. the communication department is the vehicle. The vehicle. The vehicle. Yeah. The vehicle. So you're going on the road <laughs> and all the departments are in the back seat <laughs> of the car. But what is taking them down? I like all your putting. Yes. I like all your it, it is the communication department that facilitates yeah, yeah. The, every other the department. Boss. Of course. And the, yeah. Yes, that's the department that takes it. So if the communication department is not up to scratch, it yeah. means that the message would not be, uh, because you're not going out as it should. Yeah. Right? With, with your permission, I'll borrow that. Eh? Yes, of course. Permission. I like how you put it, the vehicle. And that's the, the vehicle. Rest, <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah yes, that, that, that's the vehicle that takes the message across. Excellent. In all in all facets, in all aspects. Anyhow you think about it, it comes through that department. Yes. You know we are here in Pastor's yeah. Corner. Exactly. The communication department. Getting all the message out there. Yeah. The communication department. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Right, Pastor. Well, we just have two more public affairs and religious, public affairs and religious um, liberty. And then we have ADRA. Uh, yeah, public yeah. affairs, mm-hmm. as it says, deals with the department that deals with. Um, sometimes even us and members don't quite understand that department. Mm-hmm. But yes, the church should have good relationship with mm. the governments and such entities. So, right. so the public affairs, mm-hmm. public affairs, yeah. and anything that for example, we just had the issue of the pandemic. Mm-hmm. That's a cause. That's something in the pub- for the public. The church, that department should ensure whatever information we can get to share with the church, get information from proper information from the government relative to that. Yeah. Public affairs, it relates to the public. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. it relates to the public. It, 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 it will greatly and has greatly affected the public. The public yeah. So the, the church, that department must lays. It's a kind of lays on department. With government and mm-hmm. officials and mm-hmm. that kind of thing, mm-hmm. um, and linked to that mm-hmm. is religious liberty. Religious liberty. Yes, um, and yeah. more and more we find in the need for that. Yeah. Right in Grenada, yeah. I mean some parts of the world. In last month in Pakistan, they burn a set of churches, hmm. Christian churches, Muslim mm-hmm. burn churches. Mm-hmm. Only I mean you just say something that the folks don't like. Yeah, all churches set on fire. Mm. You know, um, we don't have that in this part. Yeah. But yet still, here in Grenada, you have some employers, someone work with you, and the person mm. say, well, I, I want to accept Jesus Christ, or I am a seven Adventist, and an employer say, that's your business. That's you have to yeah. work on Sabbath. Yeah. Forcing people, well, they force you, it's up to you to take mm. the job. But that department sometimes write letters to mm. employers, employing them, well, you know, according to the Constitution, we have yeah. people, I mean, sometimes they ignore it, yeah. but we write letters yeah. to um the service industry, mm-hmm. university, St. Yeah. George University, and other universities, yeah. um, in order 
parts of the world where letting them know that that student has that belief and therefore you should facilitate that belief, right? right. right? So that, that department, um, religious liberty, allow persons to exercise the religious freedom mm -hmm. as they so choose. Right. They choose to worship, they choose not to worship, they must not be coerced. Oh, yeah. And that department to ensure that everyone is treated fairly. Mm -hmm. um, so that department does not fight for Adventists, it fights for all yeah, people. Really so if a yeah. Muslim say my day is Friday mm -hmm. and I should they, yes, respect you respect that, that and you and you yeah. champion the cause because yeah. that's the belief. Yeah. We believe this this Sabbath, Sabbath. Is, is seven days is the Sabbath day, but if a Muslim says Friday and uh, we sh we sh we defend Muslim based upon their belief. Yeah. That's yes. Respect. Of course we will Preach the gospel and hope they no, come to no, accept course. our belief. Yes. But when it comes to defending person's belief, we defend it. The public yes. affairs and religious liberty department mm -hmm. does that for everybody. Right. Yeah. Very nice. Essentially, that's what that right. department does. Thank with. you. Very yeah. important. Well, 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 Mr. President, we insights from the president, and I, 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 I don't know. It looked like we have to bring you back again for part three, but I mean, I know you're a busy man. <laughs> but, but um, we just have a few prayer, um, adra and music. Just you know, in a, yeah, in a few um, seconds, just. You know, ADRA, the, the acronym ADRA, Adventist um, Development and Relief Re Agency. agency yeah. Yes, when they are, we live it right now, we are in the hurricane season. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're getting some strange weather patterns. Mm -hmm. Let's say um, the climate is responsible for that. Mm -hmm. But um, ADRA, hurricanes, mm -hmm. um, mash up the place. Mm -hmm. And what the, what, who responds? What department responds? Mm -hmm. ADRA, ADRA, Adventist Development and Relief. Mm -hmm. So it's a service, not a department. It's a service that we perform. Yeah. Um, that once there is this need, any earthquake or any such thing, that is the department that mobilizes help for local or it could be regional, regional. or international. Yes. The ADRA is, is, is mobilizing help. Mm -hmm. Last time when the volcano in St. Vincent, Vincent yes. we were there. ADRA was mm -hmm. gathering water, bottles mm -hmm. and containers of water mm -hmm. and what have you to send to St. Vincent. Mm -hmm. That's the department that does that. So right. it's, it's there. Um, it's not a work that you perform every day, every day yeah. um, but you should really deal with storage, yeah, putting away stuff, preparation, yeah. blanket, um, bedding, shooting carts for, you know, in case mm -hmm. when there is an emergency, mm -hmm. may not be here, um, but some places and you have to respond, that's the department right. that responds. You also have prayer, Pastor, I think everyone yeah. understands that department. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 everyone understands the department. Mm -hmm. this, this, is, this, this Christian journey is not run um, by human intelligence and human smartness. Mm -hmm. You don't go to school and say, yeah, yeah, you learn for best practice, mm -hmm. but this is a spiritual work. Yeah. So what carries it? The work is carried mm -hmm. on the wings of prayer. Mm -hmm. The only how we defeat the enemy. Mm -hmm. All the strategies, Pastor, we meet in a room and we discuss strategies to do this or that. And the devil hear the strategy and say, I'll counteract that. Mm -hmm. But when you pray, the devil mm -hmm. can... Yeah. No, no, you can't handle that because the devil can't. How would the devil handle prayer? God will come. No, yeah. when we pray, we are reaching up. We are, we are really saying we are insufficient. Mm -hmm. We are reaching up to a power that is all sufficient mm -hmm. to take care of our issues. Mm -hmm. And when we do that, the devil does not have a response yeah. because he can't. Re the devil can't respond to no, Jesus. But when all. we discuss our strategies among ourselves, mm -hmm. he says, "I will be that mm -hmm. because he can handle that." Mm -hmm. But so prayer is without prayer, you are just doing stuff. Mm. Yeah, you're just doing stuff. But when you are when you are in prayer, you are reaching up to a source that is more powerful than yourself, and 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 that source will, hmm. in fact, take the work where it wants to take it. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so prayer, I'm saying that prayer is critical. We it's can't. Critical. Yeah, it's, it's, that's, it, the, that's yeah. the lifeline mm -hmm. of, of the gospel. I mean, so it's, it's critical. We mm -hmm. we must we, we can't do without it. Right. And of course, we you talk about music. You know, music really is um you know the enemy. The enemy has mashed up music. Mm. The Bible talks about him being a, a skillful player. They talk about the organs, mm. the pipes that was how he was created. created so they never yeah. know how to mess up music. So the department um, is a service or help to guide the church. What is appropriate? There's are gray areas there, mm. you know. Mm. But what is appropriate? Because sometimes mm. people take in any music and baptize mm. it. Yeah. They baptize in any music yeah. and they're saying it's Jesus Christian stuff. Music. So yeah. sometimes we have to, the department to help guide us. Yeah. Um, you know what? What is appropriate? What is you know? Um, I'm not saying there is something called. You know, you you cannot look to the Bible and say that is godly music. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. but but there, the department help yes mm -hmm. to, to guide us mm -hmm. um, because that's a gray area that sometimes the devil used yeah. to distract yeah. us and you know that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, so it is an important department. Wow, yeah. well done, yeah, well done. Thank you, thank our you very much. Fast. Well, inside, um, yeah, our time is almost gone, but I just want to ask you this final one. Um, after uh, you said, well, you alluded to the executive committee earlier on when you mentioned and the bylaws committee, um, the executive committee, you alluded to that. But your pastors, pastor, your your pastors, do you, just an insight 
um, in a few seconds to the role of the pastors because they play a critical role in the in the advancement of the work. Yes, of course. And after all these departments, you have the uh, the, the pastors, uh, the district pastors. Or yeah, the, the as, departmental. Of course, know. as you mentioned, just one line on the yeah. executive committee. That's the critical committee. The executive yeah. committee of the conference is a committee that runs. Mm -hmm. And a committee was a committee of 25 persons, were including the administrators right. of the conference, were elected at the session. Yeah. So that's a committee that runs the affairs of the conference mm -hmm. until the next session. Until the next session, yes. Yes, that's mm -hmm. that's the body that is responsible. Yeah. Yes, the chair, yeah, I'm the I'm the you know the chairperson of that, but it's not it's not me. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's an executive committee that runs. You got to hire someone. You got to fire someone. You, mm -hmm. God forbid. But I'm just saying that's the body that's that does body. that. Yeah. Yeah. And when it is done, it's done. Um, you know, so it's not, it's, it's not the president hmm. by himself or the secretary does that. There, no, no, yeah. the executive committee, mm -hmm. you know, budgets and stuff to do this or that. The executive committee approves that, and when it's approved, it's approved. Right. If you understand what I'm saying, so yeah. I just want to say that. Yeah. Um, and then the pastors are critical mm -hmm. to help give supervision to a district. We have yeah. twelve of them essentially, mm -hmm. and and I know. Yes, uh, an important aspect of the pastor's work is to preach. Every mm -hmm. time we show up, we preach. Mm -hmm. I preach almost every time, mm -hmm. on, you know, unless you're a public Probably. exchange or yeah. what have you, you know. Um, but, but critically, the pastor's role is not just to preach. The pastor is to train, train. the mm -hmm. church for service. And some mm -hmm. folks don't understand that. Mm -hmm. They think, well, okay, yes, the pastor preach. Yes, that's one aspect. Mm -hmm. But training the membership for service to pastor, mm -hmm. to supervise, to shepherd, to guide. Mm -hmm. Because if the pastor alone is doing the stuff, you have 40 members mm -hmm. and he's doing well sooner or later i mean the pastor needs to multiply himself mm -hmm. so you train the 40 and you get a next 40 like yourself or a next 20 you know at least best you know wow the work will be multiplying but if yeah. you alone just trying to do your stuff yeah. you alone trying to do a bible study here so a critical role of the pastors or pastors is to train mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we have to stress that mm -hmm. and the members have to understand that it's not just the pastor comes and preach visit, and, yeah. do funeral, mm -hmm. do a wedding, mm -hmm. preach. No, the pastor critical role is to train mm -hmm. members to do same ministry like this. You know, of course, the pastor have a, a, a role that the members doesn't have. Mm -hmm. The supervisory role mm -hmm. of the district or church, you may be a church or a district to give supervision. The the spiritual moral leader in a church mm -hmm. is the pastor. Mm -hmm. When the pastor is absent, the spiritual moral leader is the elder. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. um, working with the pastor. So it's a critical role. Yeah. Spiritual leadership. The pastor. That's very, yeah. Yes. Well, thank you very much, Pastor Pastor Isaac, our president. Uh, I see Kwame Diabo. Pastor Diabo is there. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, pastor Isaac, thank you very much for the insights on Pastor's Corner um, this morning. It was very insightful, in truth, in, indeed. Uh, very insightful. Um, but yes, as you go in 30 seconds, um, your, your vision, because we don't know when we're going to get you again. I mean, <laughs> after now, I mean, you've been with us last week. Um, this week, you know, and I know the meetings are going to ramp up, you know, um, the, the responsibilities as you settle in, as you get things organized, as you focus and you started that way, focus um, the conference again or refocus or continue to keep us focused on the mission. It's going to be it. a, a and, going. And that's so, the vision, Pastor. It's not like... Yeah, the vision. Said, what's your... Yeah, yeah it's, not, it's not like, well, you know, you want to open a branch mm -hmm. of a next business there to make more money. No. The vision is how do we get more souls for Jesus? Yes. That's it. How yeah. how do we, you know, as I said, as I said, post Christian, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. um, kind of society, people not bothering too much with God. How do we still not, irrespective of this is the climate, mm -hmm. how do we still be relevant out there mm -hmm. and preach everlasting gospel mm -hmm. um, by tent, by visitation, by what have you? I'm um, standing on the on the. I was going to say the prominent the Esplanade. <laughs> <laughs> do we do that more often? Yeah. How how do we refocus and still get the message out the past? Yes. That's that behind my head. This That's is what is it? How do we do it? Because people in Greenland are still to, people who are playing jab jab naked. Ella. Yeah, yeah. They're not supposed whoa, to play whoa, whoa. at all, whoa. but they're getting worse. Whoa, whoa. So I'm saying, no, we the church mm -hmm. has to then come and, and and then present morality to people. So yeah. this is what we have to do, um, and that that to be the focus. Yeah. Yes. How do we? As I said um, last week, how do we lengthen the cord but mm -hmm. strengthen the strengthen stakes? stakes? Those we have there, keep them focused and at the same time get more persons for the kingdom. Because Jesus said, other sheep I have, mm -hmm. they must come. They must I must come. bring them. That's the will of the church. Yeah. That's my vision. Yeah. Thank yes. you, Pastor. Well, I, I, I hope that I didn't ask you too many hard questions this time around. Bless the Lord. <laughs> but you, whether they were hard or they were not so hard, you answered and you did very well by the grace of God, Pastor. I must admit, you know, and your insights today on Pastor's Corner 
uh, insights from the president was really insightful. You know, we were blessed. And even now I see, I still see people joining, you know. <laughs> but of course, um, thank you very much for staying with us, viewers. Uh, we were chatting, of course, uh, gaining insights from our uh, conference president, again, Pastor Enoch Isaac. Pastor Isaac, thank you very much and may God bless you. We don't know when we are going to meet again on this, you know, Pastor's Corner. Um, I hope it's not too long from now so that we can continue to chat and continue to educate and lift up and, you know, share um, with uh, the uh, constituency and, of course, with, of course, the general public. Uh, um, thank you very much. Remember, there will be a rebroadcast of Pastor's Corner at 8 p.m. this uh, um, this evening, 8 p.m. So if you uh, miss something or you want, to, you want to, you know, to refresh your memory on something or you know there are so many persons uh, who are on work uh, who might not have been able to view or watch us, hello, they don't miss anything. They can go on there this evening at 8 p.m. Eh, on Mission Live at Grenada Conference, Mission Live, Facebook or YouTube and they can go back and look at uh, Pastor's Corner with insights from the president. All right? So let them know that. Rebroadcast at 8 p.m. this evening. Thank you very much. Thanks for staying with us. Thanks for the time, Pastor Isaac. Thanks for the time. God bless you and your administrators. Continue to bless you and your administrators as you continue to lead this great conference in the Grenada Conference here. Thank you, God Pastor. Bless you. God it was a bless pleasure. You. All right? Let's pray. Let's pray. And Mr. President, I want to ask you to just say that short prayer for us as we close. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for allowing us to share here in another pastor's corner. Yes. We pray for all our viewers and listeners and those who will eventually view mm -hmm. and listen. Yes. We pray, Lord, that we all keep focus. The coming of the Lord is near. Mm -hmm. And this is our one goal. Mm -hmm. um, that is to spread the everlasting gospel that the, that the sheep, the other sheep that yes. Jesus has must come to the full of safety. Mm -hmm. We pray that you will continue to stay under the bloodstained banner of Prince Emmanuel, mm -hmm. so that we can accomplish the task that has been assigned us. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father, for hearing and answering this prayer. In Jesus' name, mm -hmm. amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. Until next week again, God bless you.